Hello out there, beautiful ones. I got a really great question this week that I wanted to answer for all of you. I had posted a video from a YouTube channel I've been enjoying a lot called Simple Happy Zen. <laughs> and this was on tips for highly sensitive people. And I just resonated like so much with a lot of the tips. And someone posted a really good question asking me the difference between highly sensitive people and empaths and clairsentients. These are actually three really different concepts. The concept of a highly sensitive person, to the best of my knowledge and understanding, mostly pertains to psychological and physical differences. So highly sensitive person is a term that is used in the field of medicine, neurology, psychology, and it pertains to differences in our processing of environmental stimuli, like being more sensitive to sound and <laughs> the sun is playing with us today, being more sensitive to light as well. And in general, having a sensitive nervous system, being more sensitive to sight, smell, sounds, all of the senses. Individuals who are highly sensitive people in this regard can become overwhelmed in their environment more easily and generally need sort of more time alone, maybe gentler lighting, less sound. To the best of my knowledge, it's a biological difference. I think you can actually like scan the brains of highly sensitive people and see changes. Now, it is possible to fall into two of these categories. It's possible to fall into all of them or just one, but that's highly sensitive person. Empath is a term that belongs largely to the field of healing more than any other fields like healing, emotional healing, shamanism, metaphysics. To be born an empath is to experience the emotions of another as our own. Traditionally, a person who was born as an empath might turn out to be a healer. To be an empath in this sense means that we experience the joy, pain, emotional sphere of another person inside of our being in order to help remedy or mediate them in some way. And I do think it is possible to be an empath without being like a highly sensitive person, although it's unlikely. But it's possible, for example, to be able to directly experience the state of being of another without also being sensitive to light, for example. Like those are sort of two different things. To be an empath means that you are born a healer. There's empathy and you can be highly empathetic without perhaps being like an empath. Now keep in mind, these are all terms. These are not always things that can be carefully measured. When I think of someone who is an empath, to me, I'm thinking of someone who might be like, maybe they work as an herbalist, or maybe they're currently a shaman, or maybe they're a psychologist and they're doing deep trauma work with others. They're typically called into a field of healing and they utilize that ability to tune into another person's world to help or heal in some sense, to get a sense of that pain, be it physical, be it emotional, and then to bring about a remedy. And so God, source, the universe, the guides, and the angels have given the person the ability to be able to sense the pain so that they can do something to help mitigate that pain. Now, clairsentience. Clairsentience is the ability to feel information that comes from invisible realms that comes from the psychic realm for example like let's say that you're trying to decide maybe you're gonna buy a sweater as a gift for someone for christmas clairsentience is you visualize a green sweater and you feel it mm, what does that feel like for that person and then a red sweater oh that gives me like a tense feeling no i don't think they're gonna like that one burgundy and you feel this like expansion you know like when you imagine burgundy and oh that one feels right that's that feels right and like if you watch mediums and things like that who perform in public a lot of times they'll be like 
okay, like I'm tuning into a loved one on the other side. I feel this is your uncle or I feel this is not a direct family member, but a close family member. I feel this person really enjoyed McDonald's. That's, that's um, clairsentience. It's you feel information. And I think if you don't necessarily utilize that ability regularly, it might sound kind of confusing, but I think most like psychics and mediums have clairsentience in addition to other gifts that they utilize. Uh, clairsentience and clairvoyance go well together. So clairvoyance is, clairsentience is clear feeling of psychic information. Clairvoyance is clear seeing. So these go very well together because if you see something, you can understand a lot about a scene that is going to happen. You guys, I use these skills all, I'm realizing in talking, I use these skills all day, all the time, all in all, always. So if I receive a vision, the vision is they're getting keys handed to them and they're in a car dealership. So the vision tells me, the guides are telling me that you will buy a new car this year. The clairsentience piece is pretty necessary to give like an accurate reading because that allows us to feel into, for example, into the scene to understand what is the nature of this psychic information. For example, is this like a really, really happy moment in this person's life? Is the feeling of the scene a bit more reticent? Like maybe they're actually sad and grieving and maybe they had to get this new vehicle because that car was, you know, damaged in an accident or something like that. And so the clairsentience allows us to feel into the psychic information. In summary, highly sensitive person is a term that belongs to psychology and physiology related to different sensitivities to our physical environment. To be an empath is a calling. To be a healer, we're able to feel and perceive the states of others in order to remedy them. To possess clairsentience, we are receiving information encoded with feeling that is coming from an invisible plane of reality. You guys, th thank you for asking this question. There is inside of me a lot of information and I often don't know what to share, when to share, what you are all interested in, what you are all ready for. So when you ask questions, it really is helpful to me. And I have been enjoying, like I said, Simple Happy Zen. So I'll link uh, her video on tips for highly sensitive people. Thank you guys so much for watching. Many, 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 many blessings to you.